All right, world record prep week three miscellaneous training day. The goal of this day is really just to hit all the muscle groups that are neglected in the rest of the training cycle or the rest of the training program and to make sure that there are no imbalances that will inevitably lead to injury or that could increase the risk of injury. So the other two days that I have within the training program are a pressing day and then really just a legs day or a lower body day. And that does just leave really the upper back. So this day does turn into an upper back and arm day most often. And today was no different. We started the workout with some forearm work. We did a minute of wrist curls with the barbell followed by a minute dead hang from a bar and then a minute of reverse wrist curls. And I tried for an additional minute hang after all of that and made it to 58 seconds. Almost made it all the way, but not quite. It was a good try. I actually think that it was a PR, so I was very pleased with myself. Uh, <laughs> Christian did join me on this day. and It was quite fun uh, having a workout partner for this workout. It is very much kind of a... It, you know, it does have a serious note to it, and it does have a aggressive pace. We are supersetting two movements, and the first movement is always a, uh, you know, a latissimus dorsi focused movement where we're trying to really engage the lats most and leave the biceps out of it, and then we come in with a bicep exercise at least for the first two supersets, and. Uh, you know, we're, we're taking three to four minutes between supersets. We're doing three of these supersets per grouping of exercises. And that does get to be quite fatiguing towards the end of the workout. And it's fun to do that with someone else and uh, have, a, have a good pace and get to train and swap some training ideology uh, between sets. And as, as well as some banter, of course. <laughs> so we started with the forearm work, moved on to the bent dumbbell rows, supersetted with the alternating bicep curls, and then did this modified ring pull up with the hammer curls. And we ended the workout with some band pullovers. And I did a little bit of core work because I have been really lacking on the core work. And and you'll see that in a minute. But right now I'm just looking at the way Christian's doing it and I'm I'm giving some thoughts on how I like to activate my lats and how I like to pull the rings apart in this movement and really focus on where my elbows are going, driving the elbows down. I also like to uh, supinate my hands slightly. So I noticed that his hands were extremely pronated and I was telling him that if you bring the palms towards each other just a little bit, it can help to engage the lats more effectively, at least in my experience. So. And I'm just going to leave you with the rest of this footage. Uh, you know, there's not a whole lot to say about this training day. It was just pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, you get what you see. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't checked it out already, check out the Basics of Strongman playlist uh, for those who are looking to get into Strongman or the Strongman Theory for those who are looking to get better at the competitive side of Strongman or some of the... Uh, you know, theory of competition of strongman. And thank you again for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.